Hi friends, uh, this is Vijay and I am here to explain you about an automation testing. Okay, so testing we have different type of tools, uh, either we go for a freeware tool or an automation tool. So I am here to explain you about automation testing. Okay, so automation testing uh, by using a tool called an U UFT which is nothing but unified functional testing. Okay, so I am here to explain you about automation testing. using a particular tool using a tool called as an UFT which is nothing but unified functional testing testing this uh, this uh, unified functional testing it's nothing but a tool which is nothing but an uh, license based tool so maximum a company a big companies a, ma a maintenance uh, where a, I mean say the MNC, MNC companies will use this type of tool rather than going to a freeware source so uh, so in order to do a testing part basically we have we have to do by using a manual testing whenever you are whenever we are testing a particular application basically first of all we go for manual testing This is one of the basic criteria in order to test a particular applications. Next one, in, now this, uh, we have another tool called an automation testing. Automation testing. So, I am here to explain you this automation testing here. So, uh, whenever you want to do an automation testing, compulsory you should have a knowledge on, auto, uh, on manual testing. Without knowledge on manual testing, we can't be able to do this automation testing. So that's the main criteria for uh, for you to understand about this auto, uh, automation testing. So I am here to explain you first of all the basic needs of a manual testing. When we go for an, uh, manual testing, in which cases we go for man in order to test a particular application. Uh, so when we go for manual testing, and in which cases we go for an automation testing, I will help you. So in order to explain first of all this thing. I will explain here about a manual testing. So, uh, basically, whenever you go to a company, uh, manual testing is becoming a very uh, routine uh, topic. I mean to say, it is becoming a very easy one. Whenever you go to for, for testing a particular application in any any company, first of all, manual testing will have a low privilege. You know, when compared with an automation testing. Then I am here to explain why I am explaining here. Uh, in which cases we go for an automation testing is, for example, if I consider a very big company, some MNC companies, MNC companies will use this automation testing tool. Why? Because uh, the, it is a licensed version, which cost around four, four to five lakhs of cost, a licensed version in order to purchase a particular tool. So a very small company, when you go for very small companies, uh, they will use a freeware to source, uh, tools like Selenium. Uh, like uh, Ranorex tool and another tool called as a uh, flex monkey tool these are the, some of the open source tool they will use this open source tool but when compared to an uh, in order you to settle in a very big companies then we can definitely we, we can go for an automation test you know we can go for this tool called as an uft unified functional testing so uh, before explaining about this functional the the advantages of this uh, you have this automation testing I would like to explain you about manual testing so first of all I would like to like to consider an application here for example let's consider an application when some banking uh, application or otherwise uh, some application this is a, some login functionality of a web page login functionality Whenever you log into a, a, a web application, whenever you log into a web application, we have some username here, like this, username, password, and this is a login button, like this. Okay. So whenever you, like, this is one of the particular example, for example, let's consider this an example for a Gmail application. consider about this and gmail application so whenever you want to test a particular application by basically by default we go for manual testing only okay so first of all uh, what is meant by manual testing testing one particular application 
testing one particular application by using with by using manual effort is nothing but your manual testing i mean say testing a particular application and checking whether the our uh, whether the functionality is delivering as per the customer requirement or not with our manual effort is called as a manual testing so for example now i would like to uh, concentrate on this particular functionality like username password and login button in this functionality in this login functionality we have three buttons here what are the buttons one is username i mean say the web edit this is one functionality this is another functionality and this is another function we have three functionalities present in login functionality so whenever you want to test a particular uh, the login functionality by basically we go for manual testing here so in this manual testing uh, how we test an application is by using uh, some test cases we have to write some test cases in order to test the particular functionality so then what is meant by automation testing automation testing is nothing but we we should not write any test cases like this just we have to develop the code automatically uh, the the tool whatever the tool that is present there the tool will handle all the functionalities that is present here means it means that for example let me consider about a manual testing what is a manual testing will do a person who will test the application has per the customer requirements and checks whether the functionality is working has per requirement or not by manual effort by means of some people so two to three members people four member like this but when consider with an automation testing what is an automation testing will do this automation automatically this the automatically the tool will create your test will uh, execute the functionality has per the customer requirement or not and then it will just uh, gives us a result that's it for that one we have to develop a particular script for that one we need not to wait until the uh, code will uh, until the application works or not just we have to develop the code and just execute that one automatically the tool will checks all this functionality will uh, checks all this functionality and gives us a result whether it, whether this functionality he, he, uh, is executing perfectly or not okay so uh, so in order to test a particular automation testing we have some tools called as an like uh, i mean by using some, uh, by using some software tools we have to test a, uh, in order to test a particular application we use some software tools present in the market so by using the tools we will test the uh, the application automatically so now i am here to explain you what are the tools that is present in the market using i mean the related to this automation testing automation we have some uh, some license based tools we have and we have some uh, free ware source to, uh, tools we have so first of all i will explain you about a license based tools license free ware open source tool. open source is nothing but free ware free ware tools uft unified functional testing this is one one of the automation tool in this automation tool we have two types of tools one is license based tool another is open source tool open source is nothing but a freeware tool that we can install in our uh, systems also in our laptops also but a license based is we have to pay some amount to the particular company and then we have to uh, 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 approve the tool i mean say in order to for example if you have, uh, want to buy this tool we have to pay some amount amount uh, which is nothing but for some 4 to 5 lakhs okay so by if you pay the amount then we can able to access to the particular tool so this is nothing but your license base and this is nothing but your open source so here first of all uh, coming to a license base tool we have a tool called as uft first of all this will have the most prominent role in automation testing and next one coming to rft which is nothing but rational functional testing rational functional testing and we have ranorex tool ranorex tool we have another tool called silk test these are some of the license based tool and when coming to an open source tool we have a tool called as selenium it is an open based tool everyone can able to access that one if you have a knowledge on core java 
and we have a uh, so open source tool called flex monkey which is used to automate the flex of the, uh, the objects that has been uh, developed using the uh, sorry uh, fle the flex monkey is a tool where uh, part when a particular application has been developed using the flex objects in order to test the particular application this functionality is useful so there are some of the uh, free based uh, license based tools are there and open source tool tools are there so in which company prefer a license based tool and which company prefers a open source tool is important first of all so when you consider a company a big company uh, i mean say some mnc companies like ibm united health group and tcs like big, big companies they maximum go for maintenance project only okay so in order to work on a maintenance pro maintenance project is nothing but a big project which will complete around 6 to 7 years 8 years project like 8 to 10 years project so in order to handle that big projects a maintenance projects compulsory a big company have to use an automation tool a license based automation tool so these are the automation tools okay so when for example if a small company is working on a particular project which is a around an around a simple project which will complete around a minimum of 1 year to 2 years then maximum company prefer for open source tool which is a freeware because company won't bear the huge amount in order uh, to pay to pay to purchase the tool and work on that one so in that case a small company go for open source tool so now i am here to explain you a license based tool called as an eft which is one of the easiest tool you can easily able to understand the eft tool if you have a knowledge on vb scripting okay it's nothing but a v if you have a knowledge on c c c language and if you have a, a knowledge on scripting language then it is able to ha understand our uh, the scripting language of this uh, uft tool so uh, presently i am here to explain you about an automation tool called as an uft which is nothing but a unified functional testing so the definition of an uft is nothing but uh, it's uh, this is an automation tool okay so what does uh, the definition tells that in order to test a particular application by using an automate uh, automation tool then what it will do this uft automatically this will create a particular this will uh, launch your particular application test your particular application and gives us a result whether the, uh, this application is, is working as per the customer requirement or not so when we go so in order to explain this one first of all i will like to explain about i will differentiate between a manual testing and an automation testing okay first of all i am uh, this is a manual testing and this is an automation testing so for example let us consider that this is an example this is an, uh, a gmail application in this gmail application there are different different functionalities present in this one so i have taken a small functionality called as login functionality okay in this login functionality we have three uh, uh, two buttons like this uh, i mean say we have three functionalities here username password and login button okay so here whenever you go for an manual testing what we will do first of all we, in order to write in order to test a particular application a particular functionality by using a manual testing we have to go for an test cases i mean say we have to develop a test cases we have to develop a particular test cases and we have to execute the test cases and we have to see whether the defects are present or not if the defects are present then we have to deliver to, to the developer and then we have to check once again and then we have to after completion of all this uh, requirement all this functionality then we have to say that whether this particular functionality is able to is execute is, is executing perfectly or not so a manual testing what a manual testing will do he has to develop the test cases sorry uh, first of all he have to develop the test scenarios then he have to develop a test cases next one he have to execute the test cases execute the develop the test cases whatever the test cases he have developed that that uh, test case have to be executed then if a defect is found identify defects while executing if a defect is found identify the defects and report the defects to a and report it to developers okay and then 
we have to deliver deliver the functionality to the client like this or the 